there's four things I think about um, mm -hmm. that we can do. One, we, we can fund creatively mm -hmm. and to try to create new approaches for what mm -hmm. we fund and tap our ne networks to create interesting and leverage funding. Mm -hmm. um, we can fund, uh, we can experiment with new new strategies and so in our case it was partnering with a, a pharmaceutical company to be a strategic partner to invest their resources on their behalf. Mm -hmm. uh, the fourth is to um, partner with each other and so mm -hmm. I shared about our experience with the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation where we invested in an Italian company and essentially helped are helping co-develop a drug that could have application for type 1 diabetes and MS and the reason we did that is that to spread the risk and to take advantage of collaboration. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing we can ad we can advocate, advocate for things like the Congressional Congressionally Directed Medical Research Program, mm -hmm. Modern Cures, the Cures mm -hmm. Acceleration Network, mm -hmm. um, with an ad and, and more funding for the FDA with the view that we need to have more uh, advocacy both in terms of to lead to more funding but also to more regulatory authority for the FDA to approve the drugs faster. One model we use is where we will directly fund a drug company, a young biotech company that's developing a new treatment for disease. And so what we'll do is we'll, we, we let people know that we're interested in supporting early stage innovative companies. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll fund that, re we'll, we'll evaluate that research and fund it. What we'll also do is help the companies find the right partners, typically in academic centers, to conduct the research for them. And that way we tap into a scientist and a, a strong, deep scientific network. So we leverage our existing investment in academic research to bring it to bear on drug development and discovery. Mm -hmm. That's one model. A second model is where we um, partner with, uh, in this instance, EMD Serrano, the makers of Rebif. And what our our goal there was was to deploy some of their research capital through through the fast forward mechanism. Here again we, we issue calls for proposals, requests for proposals from universities as well as academic centers. Um, we manage the programs, we oversee the partnerships and then at the end of that what our what the companies funded have an opportunity to do is present their research to the senior science, senior leaders of a large drug company, which is something that many young biotechs will tell you they never ever have access to. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, of course, we partnered with the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation to co-create and co-fund uh, an existing program, which again was about sharing risk and sharing opportunities together. What I'm excited about is that I think in the room, you know, with patient advocates, we are, as I said, um, harp planted a lot of seeds. We've been growing a lot of research. It's beginning to pay off. And I think the key for us is to now how do we harvest this and not leave the harvesting to others. And that um, if we leave all that medical research in the fields, it's not going to benefit anybody. And, uh, you know, we need to take the tools and technology and, and also think about how do we use our programs most aggressively and effectively and evolve to meet new challenges, I think, that we see in 21st century medical research.